It's very simple. Kids' rules is kids' rules, and they can't be broken ever. But it was a bad treat, a moment of weakness. I don't even play the harmonica, and I keep burying my favorite lizard. Hey, little fella, want to play? Ah, my nose! My nose! My nose! Forget it, man. You can't get back your lizard. It'd make you a tinkerbacker, and that's against the code. The what? The kid's unwritten code of honor. Where you been, man? Uh... Look, Gus, what would you do if you knew some kid who went around stepping on cracks all the time? Well, I'd, I'd tell him to stop. Right. And how about a kid who never held his breath when he went past a cemetery? I'd say he was crazy. Exactly. And this is the same thing. Like never taking cuts in line and only double daring a kid after he's dared you first. They're all part of the code. It's what separates us from the animals. And for the adults. If we kids didn't have the code, what would we be? Uh, adult animals? Nothing. That's what. Wow, I had no idea it was so important. Well, it is. So learn how to play the harmonica, Gus. And promise us one thing. You never even think of doing something like that again. Oh, I won't. Believe me, I'll stick to the kids on Red and Code of Honor no matter what. Ooh, this gives me a brilliant and, like, diabolical idea. So, what do you want to do, Ashley T? I don't know, Ashley B. What do you want to do? I know. Let's spread a rumor about the swinger girl. Oh, really, Ashley Q? That is, like, so last week. Oh, what a boring recess. Hey, Ashley, listen up. Ooh, scandalous. <laughs> Come on, Gus. We can't wait all day. Oh, man, that's good water. <clears throat> We'll meet you over by the jungle gym, okay, Gus? Okay. Ah, uh, I don't think I could take one more drop. <clears throat> Your turn, kid. Oh, oh, hey! Hi, Gus. What you doing? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, trying to get a drink. Ooh, what's this? Hey, give that back! What do you like to call this thing, Gus? I said give it. It's mine! Whatever, Gus, but first you gotta tell us what it is. Your, Your what? It's my harmonica. Kids unwritten code of honor. You said something the same time we did, and we called Jinx. Now you can't talk till someone says your name. Hey, if we didn't have the code, what would we be? <laughs> that was so scandalous. And the fun's just beginning. What do you mean, Ashley A? Well, think about it, Ashley B. If we can keep his little friends from saying his name and stop everyone else from saying it too. Little Gussie will never talk again. You are so bad, Ashley A. Why, thank you, Ashley B. <laughs> What's he doing? I have no idea. I believe he's tried to communicate. I know it. Come on, man, spit it out. What are you trying to say? Oh, like, watch where you're going, Spinelli. What are you talking about? You slammed into me. As if you did too. Did not. 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 Did too. Hey, kindergartners, want some candy? guy today. What do you mean today? He's always whacked out. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. <gasps> and just where do you think you're going with my notebook? Hey, I'm talking to you, fourth grader. Oh, a smart guy, huh? Well, let's just go see what the king has to say about it. Is not. Is too. Is not. Is too. Hey, you guys hear what happened? That Gus kid stood up to a sixth grader, and now they're taking him to King Bob. That doesn't sound like Gus. Come on! <laughs> and then after I caught the little weasel red-handed, he wouldn't even apologize. What do you have to say for yourself, fourth grader? What's all this jumping around and pointing stuff? That's all he does, your highness. 
Talk, fourth grader, talk! I order you to talk. Ugh, there's only one punishment for this kind of insolence. Guards, take him to the wheel. The way he takes it all in silence. Master, master, we gotta stop this. Leave our friend alone. Get out of here. Master, master. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? It's the Finster. Run. What's your story, boy? Oh, a troublemaker, huh? Fine, you're coming with me. But Miss Finster, it's not his fault. Let him tell it to the principal. You little munchkin, talk! I told you, sir, he's a troublemaker. A real troublemaker. I say we throw him in detention till he's 17. Now, now, Miss Finster, there's more than one way to skin a kid. Watch and learn. Candy, son? You children, you like candy, don't you? So, what's your name? <coughs> Whose class are you in? Seen any good movies lately? Speak, you little... I've heard of children like him, rebellious youth who want nothing more than to foment unrest. If this gets out of hand and the superintendent hears about it, who knows how it could affect my promotion possibilities. There's only one thing to do. Miss Lemon, get me district headquarters. <laughs> Come on, Ashley. Let's, like, find another window. Come, let's go see the no talker. Why don't you speak, little boy? Are you unhappy? Do you have a tummy ache? <sighs> Can't you see he's mocking you? He won't tell us his name. He won't tell us who his parents are. He's a bad egg. A bad egg, I say. Don't worry, Prickly. Once we take him downtown, he'll talk. One way or another. <laughs> can keep it going. <laughs> so that's it. The Ashley's Jake's den. Cruel fiends. Come on, we gotta get to Gus and say his name before it's too late. He's a kook. He's a rebel. He's a man. Side, move aside. We'll never forget you, quiet boy. Quiet boy! Quiet boy! Quiet boy! Sorry, I hogged all the water, quiet boy. Hold me, Eddie. Get in, kid. Guys, look! They're taking him away! Not if I can help it. Now hear this! Now hear this! Gus Griswold has been jinxed! I repeat! Gus Griswold has been jinxed! Thank you. I didn't think anyone would ever say my name. Well, what do you know? Another jinxed kid. That's the third one this week. Let him go, Fred. What? That's it? He's completely disrupted my entire school, and you people are just gonna let him go? Hey, lighten up, Prickly. Yeah, it's part of the kid's unwritten code of honor. Come on, Fred, I'll buy you a donut. <laughs> Jinx! <laughs> this is ridiculous. You mean, you did this all because you were jinxed? Yeah, kind of dumb, wasn't it? Dumb? No, it was cool. You're an even bigger hero than we thought! Jinx boy! Jinx boy! Jinx boy! Jinx boy! Jinx you know? For a timid guy, that Gus sure knows what being a kid's all about. <laughs> well, someone was like bound to say his name sooner or later. But it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, let's see if we can do something like that every recess. You thinking what I'm thinking? Definitely. Hey, you Ashleys! Wanna you drop five bucks? No! Scandalous! Jigs! <laughs> <laughs> 